Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in. We've got another awesome turkey hunt for you. This week we're checking in with Dan Richardson down in southern Indiana. Guys, if you like the video, leave your comments below. Let us know what you thought. Of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification button to make sure you never miss a great update from Bowhunter Die. My son, Dalton. Are you pumped up? Yeah. I'm ready to go. What time do you think they'll come in? About 9.30 or so. Okay. Reason he says that, <clears throat> we've got like 5,000 game camera pictures on our stealth cams up here on this flat. And about the earliest we've seen a bird up here is about 9.30, 9.45. Haven't heard hardly anything. You, you said you thought you heard one? I thought so. Okay, he thought he heard one off in the distance. We don't even know where these birds are roosting. We're solely relying on our stealth cams with all the pictures. We know the birds are here. Okay, we're hearing what well, sounds like a bunch of hens back behind us here. Sounds like they're doing some assembly calls. So we're just hoping to come in. We're hoping there's two shooters in the group. One for this guy, one for me. Got a bunch of women back there just yakking.
We don't know, do we? Oh my gosh. The bad part was, I know in the video it's gonna look like, why is he not shooting when he's broadside? That thing was eight yards from us, this little strip we're in. It's not very wide, is it? So, I was afraid to have him draw because I thought we'd get busted. And about the time he turned away, and he had his tail fan facing us, I was, I was just telling Dalton to put it right up where his tail feathers come together right there. And about that time, he started flogging a decoy. So that blew that shot. And I guess when he knocked the decoy off the stake, it must have spooked him. And he hopped over about 15 yards away. Dalton hit him, and the arrow stuck with him. But he flew off up into a tree, and then he flew down. So we don't know what to do right now. It all happened so quick, doesn't it? We're kind of bummed, but really glad a bird come in. Man, that was a beautiful bird. I think we're gonna give it about 15, 20 minutes and probably just walk down there and see if he's on the ground somewhere. So, fingers crossed. That's a good sign. Is that him? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is it down? Yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe we just found that here. Oh, oh, dude, that was awesome. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that beard. Oh, wow. You know, I'm thinking maybe I hit him in the leg. No, it's, but maybe it's, it's just blood. It's back here beside it, I see it. Oh, wow. That's a heavy bird. Yeah, oh, that's man. got a good spurs too. Man, <clears throat> how awesome was that? Um, it's warming up pretty good. I got Dalton hit at home with his bird. He was going to stay with me, but it's going to be close to 70 today. So I might be in here the rest of the day. So he's going to go ahead and take his bird home and get it taken care of. I'm gonna stay here for the rest of the day. These birds come in at all times of the day. That one there was pretty epic. Yeah, baby, bow hunter die. All right, here we are. Look at us. Mm -hmm. What a good day. Father, son, double. Uh, it's a shame he couldn't have stayed with me and we could have got this right away, but like I said, it's warm, so he took that one home, got it on ice, but uh, it worked out perfect, so he brought it back here and we were able to get uh, get some good uh, interview with him, so I think his definitely a lot heavier. They're both really good birds. It feels like it. Yeah, yeah, yours is definitely a heavy bird. We're going to get these birds home and uh, get them taken care of. Couldn't be more proud. Mm -hmm. Proud of you, son. Proud got your you first too. bird, so... We will see you on the episode of Bow Hunter Die. <laughs> <laughs>